Can you imagine getting two extra months a year before you had to mark another year of getting older? Well, if you are the Queen of the United Kingdom, you enjoy this privilege every year. The Queen's real birthday is the 21st of April and she was born in Mayfair, London on this date in 1926 to the then Duke and Duchess of York. Her father later became King George VI on the abdication of her uncle Edward VIII. However, the Queen's official birthday is the second Saturday of June. This year it would have been on the 10th of June 2022 and the Queen would have officially been 96 on this day. However, this year her birthday celebrations have been moved to coincide with the Platinum Jubilee. The Trooping of the Colour took place this year on Thursday the 2nd of June 2022 as part of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, recognising the Queen's remarkable 70 years service to the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. It has been common in royal history to mark a King or Queen's birthday on a day that isn't their real birthday. The Queen's great-grandfather, Edward VII, King from 1901 to 1910, his real birthday was in November. In the autumn, the weather in the UK is colder and wetter as Brits head into the winter months. The King wanted to have a big public celebration, but didn't want the weather to spoil it for his subjects. Instead, he decided to combine a birthday parade with an annual military parade in the summer, and the Trooping of the Colour was born. Having two birthdays allows the Queen to celebrate her actual birthday with the royal family and celebrate again in June with the people of the UK. The Queen marks her official birthday with a 41-gun salute in Hyde Park, a 21-gun salute in Windsor Great Park and a 62-gun salute at the Tower of London. Trooping the Colour, the annual military parade marks her official birthday. Some 1,400 parading soldiers 200 horses and 400 musicians paraded from Buckingham Palace down the Mall to Horse Guards Parade. Prince Charles, Princess Anne and Prince William rode on horseback with other members of the royal family in carriages. This was followed by a flyover featuring over 70 different aircraft. If you liked our video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe for more content from videos for special ed. Created using Powtoon.